guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Today is going to be a super exciting video. Last night I decorated gingerbread houses with my sister and it was so much fun. I filmed it so I will insert all those clips now and then I'm going to be actually baking cookies like right now. My dog is barking. Sorry about that. I'm going to be baking cookies for this thing at my school. We're doing this winter fest and I'm going to be making M&M cookies for the first time. I've never made M&M cookies so hopefully it goes well. So I'm going to... So yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I have some packages also open so we can do that after I'm done making the cookies. Actually, I think the cookies have to chill for a little so maybe I'll open those while they're chilling or something. I don't know. But right now I'm gonna insert the clips of me doing the gingerbread house last night and then we'll do the cookies. Alright, we're gonna start by doing the roof. What are these giant balls for? Yeah. How do we want to do our roof design this year? Still not open. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm so confused. It's like impossible to squeeze it out. Oh my god, it's so hard to squeeze it out. What is wrong with it? Wait, there's a hole in it. There's a hole. This is gonna be a mess. No, baby, it's cold. Do you have any um yellow of these? Mm -hmm. Like two. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> Time for the reveal. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it's so colorful. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, I love your Christmas tree. Whoa, your roof looks cool. Alright guys, so I'm now going to be baking cookies. Here's the recipe I'm using. I printed it. Celebratingsweets.com so, I found it on TikTok because... It looked good. So, we are going to make it. It only says it makes 10 to 20 cookies. So, we're going to try to really make it into 20 because I'm, like, going to be selling these. So, if it ends up not being enough, I'll, like, make another batch tomorrow or something. But for now, we're just going to do one batch. So, we've, I've been softening half a cup of butter, which is a stick. So, first we have to preheat the oven to 350. My sister also just made brownies for the festival thingy. So, we need... First, in a bowl, whisk together flour, baking powder, flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. First, we're gonna do dry ingredients. I guess we'll use this. I really hope these turn out well. Okay, one and a half cups. Oh wait, no, no. Oh yeah, one and a half cups salt. I mean flour. That would be a lot of salt. I hope we have enough. Oops. One cup. I already got it on my shirt. It's about a cup. Ugh. Next, we're gonna do one teaspoon of baking powder. I think we need baking soda and baking powder. Yeah. By the way, today is Monday. It's December 11th. School today was pretty boring. I really didn't do much, but tomorrow I have a test in my AP Gov, and I have a test on Wednesday in AP Gov. 
I should definitely be studying tonight. But I've been studying literally all day in school, so. Okay, one teaspoon baking powder. I literally have to like check the ingredients over 15 million times to make sure I'm doing it right because I get scared. And then we need half teaspoon of baking soda. I don't know why we need baking soda and baking powder, but we do. Okay. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. Um, this is like impossible to film. I'll show you at the end, I promise. Salt. One fourth teaspoon of salt. Just got salt everywhere. One fourth teaspoon. Okay. Cool whisk. Oh, the oven's preheated. So we're gonna mix the dry ingredients. Just looks like a big bowl of flour. Now it says set that aside and we're gonna do the wet ingredients. We're gonna need our mixer. This will, we'll use this bowl. Get a mixer. Oops. Wait, Paige, have you been cooling the brownies like that this whole time? They're not gonna get cool if you're, you have to put them on a cooling rack. These are burning hot still. First we need butter. I wish you guys could see. There we go. Butter, I'm just gonna mix that for a second. Why'd you put like every pot over here? Butter, we need a half a cup of granulated sugar. Okay, I really hope these turn out well because last year I was in a cooking class and we had like this cookie baking day and this one group made M&M cookies and they were like horrible. So let's hope this isn't the recipe they used. <laughs> they also like burnt them. Like theirs were just like hard little rocks and they were like so small. So let's like really hope that doesn't happen. Okay, one half cup granulated sugar. I'm gonna mix that. Then we need a third cup of brown sugar. I don't know if it's light brown sugar. I'm just gonna use light brown sugar, I guess. Poured out so much. This is lightly packed. This is like way too much. I am a mess. Oh my gosh. Literally, what is happening? I feel like that's about right. I don't know. Now I have to clean up this whole entire oven. Wait, I just realized. You have to refrigerate these for an hour. So, like, why would the oven. I'm turning the oven off. Oh my gosh. I'm getting a little concerned about the amount of dough we have, but also I still have to add all the flour, so never mind. Next, add the egg and vanilla extract. Okay, we need one egg. I'm gonna crack it directly into this. I know that's not what I should be doing, but I'm going to, because I don't feel like getting a new, like a separate bowl. So let's just hope we don't get any. <gasps> Look at those, so bad. I hope I didn't get any shells in there. We're gonna mix that. We need two teaspoons of vanilla extract, which is the best smelling thing ever. Oh my god. It smells amazing. One time I accidentally put almond extract and like ruined a whole batch of cookies, so don't do that. I don't even know how I did that because I feel like vanilla extract has such a distinct smell. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Now we have to add the flour gently. Okay, I switched over to my iPad because my phone's about to die, but I'm adding the flour. It doesn't say to add it gradually, but I am, just in case. It also says mix until just combined, which kind of stresses me out. How do I get the batter off? There's so much batter. We're just gonna have to scrape that out. Trying to get every last bit off because I need to make a lot of cookies. Okay. It's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, now we have to gently stir in the M&Ms and the chocolate chips. This dough is looking pretty good. It's looking very small though. I'm a little worried. But, like I said, you can always make more tomorrow. Although I don't really feel like it. But, if I have to, I will. One and a half cups of M&Ms. Oh no, one cup of M&Ms, a half cup chocolate chips. The batter tastes a little 
funky. Do you want to try some of batter? It tastes a little odd. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I don't know, it tastes very vanilla extracty, I think. It's really small though. Is that a little bit? Yeah. I think it's, it's good. I'm just gonna clean up. A cup of MMs. MM Ms. Where are they? Oh. Paige, should I pick out all the red and green MMs? Yeah. I can press these Yep. I know, I'm just kidding. I would never. Unfortunately. And I feel like Rainbow's prettier. Yeah. Sort of. I feel like for Art Fest, yeah. it's like Rainbow. Yeah. Yeah. One fourth. Like half cup M&M's. Or no. Oh wait. A cup of M&M's. That's like a lot. Whatever. This whole thing is going to be M&M's. Okay, we'll do three fourths cup and then we'll add. It looks like a lot. Because we're also doing a half cup of chocolate chips. Should I do milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Should I do milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Chocolate chips. You do chocolate chips and M&M's. Wait, why'd you buy milk chocolate then? Why didn't you use semi-sweet? I forgot a semi-sweet was a thing. I'll use semi-sweet. This is so much like, toppings compared to my batter. I'm a little worried. Ugh. It's pretty. It's gonna be a pain to mix. Okay, this actually is not gonna work. We're getting a spoon. I almost wanna use my hands. I might have to use my hands. I'm washing them, I'm using them. In we go. Actually, I'm taking my rings off before I do that. There's like way too many toppings per batter. Good thing I didn't put the full cup of M&M's. Okay, it looks so pretty. I think it's good. Look at that. Ah, beautiful. This is a lot of work. If I have to make another batch tomorrow, I'm getting six service hours out of this. <laughs> I will get five at least. Now it says, scoop two tablespoon portions of dough and place on a plate and transfer the refrigerator for 20 minutes to an hour. The longer they chill, the thicker. Oh my god, I printed the same thing twice. Oh, that was on the back. Okay, well, we can throw out this page. I did not realize that. Okay. The longer they chill, the thicker the cookies will be. It says, I usually chill them for 20 to 30 minutes. So, I don't know. We'll see how much I do. I'll probably do like 30 minutes. Using the remaining M&Ms, put five or so on the top of each mound of dough. Okay, I don't know. We're just gonna portion out the cookies and then we're gonna refrigerate them and I'll be back when we're baking. So the cookies are currently in the fridge. I'm gonna just start baking them at like five. That'll be about like 25 minutes. And like I said, I got some packages in the mail. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing. These are both for my sister for Christmas. So first we've got Hollister. So she wanted these sweatpants. They're already open, so I guess I'll take them out. They're like flared gray sweatpants. Ooh, I got a size small. Okay, these are so cute. Wait, they look a little long on me, but she's a lot, like she's a bit taller than me, so I feel like these are gonna fit her perfect. Okay, so cute, these feel really comfy too. They're called the Ultra High Rise Fleece Flare Pants. They were like sold out for so long and they finally restocked a size small and so I bought it. This is super exciting. I ordered something from Etsy. I think this is going to be for my secret Santa. I'm so excited. Oh. That is so adorable. I will link this below. It's from Etsy and it's basically like a book sleeve, but like a crochet book sleeve. Like someone handmade that. That is so impressive. And you just like store your book in it. Ah, I thought this was so cute. And the person I got for Secret Santa loves reading. So I think they will love it. Oh my God, this is adorable. I'm gonna probably go wrap some stuff maybe. See you guys when I'm baking the cookies. I'm so excited. I hope they turn out good. It only made 16. So, I don't know, but I feel like that's probably enough. We're gonna have other people baking cookies. We've got brownies. Other people are baking other 
treats I feel like it's gonna be fine and I honestly if I'm being honest I don't think many people are gonna come to the winter fest I really just don't I could be wrong but I don't know our school I feel like people are just not gonna go like nobody participates in anything at my school so I don't have high expectations so I probably will not be making more cookies because I think it'll be enough I really do. Everyone's preheated, so these cooled or these chilled for about 30 minutes. Look how cute. So let's put them on. It says to put parchment paper, but I feel like I'm pretty sure this paint is non-stick. Like I never put parchment paper down when I bake like chocolate chip cookies. So let's just pray for the best. I hope these turn out well. I'm scared. It also says to place more M&Ms on top, but like these are stuffed. Like I don't think it can fit more them on the ones that look like they might need it so we're gonna put them in for about like 10 minutes 9 to 11 minutes i i never know when cookies are done like i'm i'm so bad at being able to tell because i don't want to over bake them but i don't want to under bake them and it's also more scary because like people are actually like buying these like these aren't just like for my family like people are buying them like they need to be good let's hope they're good the cookies are currently looking absolutely massive like literally ew, this looks so nasty but they're literally so tall and there's only four minutes or three minutes a little bit worried but we're trusting the process okay there's only 30 seconds and they're still massive or there's 20 seconds i did 10 minutes it said 9 to 11. so we're adding a minute they're they look raw so it's going really well but like, I feel like every time I bake cookies, it always takes longer than it says. So maybe that's just our oven. Maybe. Because like, the brownies also take way longer. So I think it's our oven. We're going to blame our oven. Okay, <laughs> it's been another minute. Ugh. I don't know. I'm going to do another minute. One more minute. Like, they just don't look right. They look raw. You guys aren't gonna be able to help. Okay, I've done like two extra minutes, maybe three, I don't even know. Sometimes they cook after they're all coming out. Then they get like... Oh my god, I thought I almost just dropped them. They look raw. Did you... Should I put them back in? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> One more minute. <laughs> this is so bad. Ten more seconds. I don't want to serve people raw mm. cookie. Okay, they're done, no matter what. I don't care. If they're raw, that's too bad. I bake them for an extra, like, four minutes. They look good, actually. I just don't know if they're cooked. I feel like they're gonna, like, I'm gonna let them sit in the pan for a minute and, like, cook a little more on the pan. They're cute. I mean, I think they look pretty good.